Hi everyone, this is Manisha Chaudhary and I welcome you back to my channel Manisha's Craft Ideas. So I'm back again with yet another bulletin board which is amazing, colossal in size and trust me, a truly a visual delight. As you can see, this is the making of a Buddha here. Uh, some years back we started doing a lot of art activities, a lot of in-house events based on the Buddha theme. So this is actually was done at that point of time. But since the artwork is individual and a kind of a sticker kind, so could be used in many other bulletin boards as well. So this is me giving the final touches to the bulletin board here. And uh, this is done on a pastel colored sheet, which was a little pale, pale yellow in color. You can see the base color also. And the color medium is acrylic on paper. And the color themes, as you can see, is the family of yellow and oranges and browns and reds. So, not a difficult work to do. Essentially, if you ask me, I prefer working on a white sheet because there you can control the shades and the tones as per your own need. Working on a colored base, it seems that it's much easier, but it gets difficult at times to balance out the colors. But nevertheless, in the end, after a tedious work, this turned out to be a fantastic artwork. So here, uh, Buddha is here in his uh, a true form. And uh, once you're doing the Buddha, the main focus is on the posture, how you want to depict it. And essentially, the most important task for an artist to do a Buddha is to create a city and create a full piece, full calm with all the pieces of Buddha, which is a signature of a Buddha picture. As you can see here, I can share the base. As you can see, the base, the base of the bulletin board is a little lighter green in color and with a maroon borders. And, and the one with the shiny part, you can see the blue is the plastic ribbon. This is the forest ribbon, which we have used to secure the sides of the bulletin board as a basic thing. Now, as you can see, I'm adding a little different elements one by one, bit by bit, to create it up aesthetically pleasing visual. See, the Buddha, Buddha art, when you talk, once you talk about it, you think about lily pads, you think about lotuses, you think about an aura in the background, you think about a lot of uh, inspirational quotes and once you look through you will find an amazing collection of elements to represent a Buddha artwork. Here it started filling up and it started you know kind of having a base uh, with a lot of elements to play out with the elevator. I especially love the face of the Buddha here and the beautiful uh, hair, the headgear which Buddha has it. It's one of my favorite here. And these lily pads, as you can see, they were used earlier also in one of the Krishna artwork as a base and uh, an additional element. See, once you think about a military board of this have to find elements just to fill up the in this case. So Buddha Tisasa, Buddha himself is going to occupy the central image, the central space and usi ko aas paas ka cover karne ke liye there is a yellow aura which is totally you know unifying the both the elements. Now once everything was put up in place a little bit of a pistol sheet as a water effect was added also to give it a, you know, just to break the monotony of the base color. And now the only thing remaining is to fill up with a little bit of text as so as to give it a meaningful, meaningful uh, concept to the board. So I thought instead of just adding random quotes by Buddha, so there are so many lovely inspirational messages which can go with it. So. The main title of the Buddha side of the Buddha we have written as Buddha says 
What is Buddha say? Buddha says we are the Lord of the universe. Like what we see we become, with our only thoughts we can change the world, and many more like that. Many more like that. So here, with the help of our babies in my school, I just try to place it on the wall as to see how it is looking visually. And you can see the shine. What is it? Is it is the protection layer. This is the talc sheet that we have. And once you and the talc sheet, if you remember, this is the cellophane paper. And the entire rolls come into the market. We can ask them to. You know, as it goes with the name of talc roll, T A L C, talc roll, and the scale of that roll is actually once you start opening the roll up, the one sheet is a combination of two. So this is me and Anta Ma'am, just being very happy when the roll was done. So truly delighted that it was done. So this talc roll, as I was saying, is the kind of protection that we want for the book because it's going to be there for a while, and we do not want children touching it. Whoever passes by, they they want to touch it, they want to feel the book. So this will work as a protection from the children and the dust and the many other elements, and also it gives it a proper shine and sheen to the book. So this is the bulletin board we were working on, and I'm happy and delighted to share it with you. And if you have a corner in your school, an office, or health college, or where not, you can use this as a playground. This is the complete artwork, and the notices you can see in the background was done with the paper and thermocol. Layered up, added up, it gave the kind of bold, basic, a very graphic look to the book. I hope you enjoyed the bulletin board as much as I. I love making this one. And if you have any query or your doubt, do give, do please share it with me. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.